Good morning. May the grace and glory of God be with you on this wonderful day. And what a wonderful day it is. Uh, we um, are uh, installing new consistory members, and I'm just so delighted to have Tyler and Brenda on our consistory team uh, for the next three years, and uh, just really excited to be working with you. And also uh, thankful for those who are coming off the consistory team and that would be Glenn Grunewald. And I'm not sure if he's here this morning. Sure, he's not here, right? Yes. Off consistory, I stopped going. Yes. And to, oh, there you are, right in front. <laughs> now I feel embarrassed. <laughs> I'm so glad to have, with all seriousness, I'm so glad to have worked with Glenn. Uh, with him as president of our consistory. He's an amazing man and, and uh, just always available and ready to uh, do whatever needed to be done. And I'm very thankful for my time working directly with him. Thank you, Glenn. And of course, Julie Herman. All right, now her I don't see. <laughs> oh, she's in Florida, okay. Uh, but. Uh, she was our treasurer, took notes, uh, I think, or secretary, I'm sorry, took notes, and a wonderful job, wonderful job working with her, too. Um, you guys do an outstanding, outstanding job. So there are a couple of announcements. Um, by the way, for those who are, are uh, watching virtually uh, as part of this service, welcome. We're just delighted to have you here. My name is Patrick Schultz, I'm the pastor here, and uh, again, welcome. So I have a couple of announcements. Uh, birthdays this week, Nancy Sixel and Allison Wasmer and Catherine Yaney. We wish them a happy birthday or send them a card. And then uh, you'll see dates and times for a choir rehearsal. Joint consistory is Monday, February 5th at 6 o'clock. And uh, following that, you may have seen the, the uh, MailChimp message that went out. I will be changing my, my two days, Mondays and Tuesdays, where I will be out of the office on Mondays and working on Tuesday. I will, of course, be here for the consistor, joint consistory meeting. And that's uh, being done to accommodate a, a change in the consistory meeting with, uh, at St. James. So. Uh, quilters and uh, quilting, I, I just love this, I got to smile every time I see it. Quilting is so much fun. Uh, I know, it's great, isn't it? Um, if there are, uh, is, I don't know, Lori, is there a box uh, set up for people who might be donating? There will be. There will be, okay. Okay, so this afternoon. And uh, listed in here then is some of the donations that uh, they're looking for. The next page we see uh, the Sheep's Head Tournament. I mentioned this last week. Take a look through it, read it, mark the dates and times, and plan on coming. it would be a lot of fun. And then our GPS, our Go Pray Study, uh, commentary that goes along with today's message. And the back is left intentionally blank for notes that you might have. And uh, with that then, I think those are all my announcements. Uh, before we do Larry's, I want to invite Sierra to come up uh, for her announcement. You can go right there. Good morning. My name is Sierra Brumstead, and this summer I will be attending a mission trip through ASP, or Appalachian Service Project, with one of my friends and St. Peter's UCC Church in Kiel. We will either be going to Kentucky or West Virginia, but we won't know until a few weeks before our trip. As one of our fundraisers to help cover the cost of the trip, we are going to have a soup cook-off on February 25th at Locks Tavern and Ballroom in Johnsonville from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. It will cost $10 per adult to enter, and that includes tasting all the soups and then voting for the best one. There will be baked goods, which will be by donation, and there will also be raffle baskets to win. So I was wondering if you would like to support me and the mission team by either entering a soup for a chance to win 
or baked goods or simply just showing up. If you have any questions or are interested in entering or interested in participating, you can see me after church. Thank you. Thank you. What was the date and time again? February 25th from 11 a.m. to 10 a.m. 25, 11 till 2. 2. Thank you. Yep. That's uh, at Locks Hall, February 25th from 11 till 2. Morning, everybody. Morning, Larry. On behalf of the St. Mark's Consistory, I uh, wanted to make everyone aware that on February 11th, uh, we're going to have a short meeting after church. Should only take a couple minutes or so, but we need enough of our church members uh, to stay to assist us in a vote. Uh, the two votes that we want to uh, deal with is we've, with the help of Gruen, Gruen, uh, Glenn Grunewald and the consistory members from last year, we have gotten bids to repave or resurface our parking lot, uh, mark the handicap stalls, plus we we're adding another handicap stall for access for the church and all the lines would be marked. Um, we, the consistory in our last meeting had um, looked at, and we have a recommendation to the church members to approve, but based on the funds, we need everybody to be present so that we can get an official approval for redoing the parking lot and getting, getting everything marked again the way it should be to maintain it. The other thing that we wanted to cover was we didn't have enough people present for a vote for uh, improving or increasing the line that uh, Judy can write a personal check uh, with the increased uh, cost for a lot of the checks that she's writing, it would be appropriate for us to look at that increase so that it would be more convenient for Judy where she doesn't have to seek out that second uh, signature in order to write the checks that she needs to for the pastor's accounts and things that we're doing as a congregation. So, um, if possible, if everybody could give a little time and be present in church on February 11th so that we can get on the calendar uh, for the repaving and get an approval and also assist Judy so that we can address that, we'll, we'll handle it real quickly and we'll get everybody out. Thank you. Thank you, Larry. Yeah. All right. And uh, all of our youth are back home? Nope. No, not yet. No. Not yet. They were excused at 11. Okay. So we pray. We, we keep them in our prayers, especially at prayer time, uh, for safe returns for them. I think that's it for announcements. And uh, I'd like to invite you then to stand as you are able for our call to worship. The people who walk in darkness have seen a great light. You multiply the nation, increase its joy. Wonderful counselor, mighty God, may you reign now and always, bringing a peace such as we've never known. And let us pray. Glorious Trinity, make your presence known in this place through our worship, our prayer, the reading of your word, and in the fellowship we enjoy. Amen. And we'll sing together number 426, Blessed Assurance.
This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior. Would you affirm your faith along with me as we pray together the Apostles' Creed? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only begotten Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the one holy universal Christian church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Please be seated. Do we have any young at heart that would like to come up for our message this morning? A young at heart message. Hi, Peter. Hello. I have a whole basket of stuff here. I'll let you look at it a little bit. But I want to talk about something today. And it's batteries. I want to talk about batteries. How many things do you think run on batteries? What kinds of things run on batteries? Electric toys, yes. Like a remote controlled car. Tools, some tools, yes run on batteries. Watches run on batteries. Now I don't have my phone with me right here, but our phones run on batteries. Um, what else runs on batteries? Oh, I know. Flashlights run on battery. Toys, uh, smoke detectors. We all know how important smoke detectors are, right? Yeah, they're life-saving. How about a TV remote? That runs on batteries, uh, watches. I've got some things here, too, that run on batteries. And I've got different size batteries. There's some bigger ones. 
medium sized ones and some little ones radios battery operated radios uh, do you think this runs on a battery no that's a big pencil what about this that's a big eraser it goes with my big pencil let's see how about this this is a speaker the first thing it says is the battery is either full or medium or low this you've seen this before right Peter Come on, everybody. <laughs> it gives us a little message. It says, I love you with hearts. That's battery operated. I've never had to change batteries. Oh, how about this? It's a card. Are cards bad? That doesn't? Are you sure? Superman's music. That's the ba battery operated. I have all kinds of neat things. Yes, this was a Father's Day card. My daughter Grace got it for me. Uh, no, that's not battery operated. This Laughing Steve used to be battery operated. And you'd squish his belly and he would laugh. But those batteries are worn out. So he no longer works because his batteries are worn out. And that's what happens when, when the batteries wear out. We sometimes just... Uh, uh, we stop working. We've run out of energy. We've run out of get up and go. Um, you know, we work hard. We play hard. Go to school hard. Go to church hard. We, we do all of this and we go, go, go. And if we don't recharge our batteries, we begin to wear out. We become like Laughing Steve. <laughs> he can't even stand. Yeah, much less laugh. Did you know that Jesus needed recharging from time to time? There's a story that we see in our Bible where he uh, goes to dinner at Simon and Andrew's home. Simon is the one that Jesus renames to Peter. Yes. So he goes there and Simon Peter's uh, mother-in-law is sick. And so Jesus heals her and right away she gets up and she starts making a meal for them. And with all of, and then what had happened is that got out into the neighborhood and people heard how he was able to help cure somebody who was sick and so they began to come and come and he had to heal people left and right all evening long. And by the end of that, his battery was worn out and he needed to rest. So he went off to a quiet place to pray, to eat a small meal, to be by himself, that was recharging his batteries. So what do we do when we need to recharge our batteries? We relax, uh, sleep, eat a good meal, yes. How about our spiritual batteries? So that's, that's good for our physical batteries, right? What about our spiritual batteries?